So good morning, everybody. Julie the Whippy Chick here. I don't normally film while walking my dog at 5.45 in the morning, but I don't know, just felt like it today. So here I am at my 5.45 in the morning best. No makeup, but he likes me this way. So I'm cool with it. Um, okay, so today's plan, it's Saturday. I keep forgetting to look at the camera, so it looks like I'm looking at someone else. <laughs> um, today's Saturday, and my son wants to go to AC Moore. Because, um, no, not AC Moore. Jeez, I keep saying it. I really miss AC Moore. <laughs> my son wants to go to Michael's because he has a channel where he reviews Halloween stuff. So he wants to go there and do some filming. So I guess I'll have to go to Michael's. Kicking and screaming, gonna drag me to Michael's. But I thought we'd look at crochet hooks because I'm gonna be doing a review on crochet hooks soon. And a lot of people ask, what is the best crochet hook to buy? Um, usually, I guess beginners would ask that question. So I thought I'd take you along to Michael's with me and we'd answer it together. Sorry, I'm out of breath. That's because of him. Where is him? There he is. Willie. <laughs> it's his favorite time of day. All right. See you soon. So I highly recommend going to michaels.com and checking to see if you have any coupons before you go to the store. And then when I find one I like or that I think I'll use, I just do a screenshot and save it to my phone. And uh, yeah, then I can use it. So here we are and oh, look at those colors of those Karen cakes. Those are chunky cakes. Um, okay, so this is the clearance section and boy, it's getting clear, look at that. I'm really here to look at hooks though. So Susan Bates has been recommended to me. I think I actually have one of these that was my grandma's, um, but I don't want to buy the whole set. For the project I'm doing, I just need the one size. So look at this. They just happen to have a size five single all by itself. So hardly ever see that, but works out for me today. And I wanted to get some loops and threads because again, we're gonna be comparing and contrasting. So I'm gonna grab these. I will use all of these sizes. Now look at this. I have never seen this uh, yarn before. Craft Smart, is that what it's called? Craft Smart, Craft Smart Value, that's what it is. And it's a lot like Red Heart Super Saver. So I think I might have to try out some of that and uh, let you know what I think. Beautiful colors though, wow. And over here, oh my gosh, what is this? Everyday Bobbin by Premier. Oh, of course it's by Premier. I love Premier. Oh, look at that. It's like three different skeins on this big bobbin. It looks like a big sewing machine thread bobbin. Very cool idea. So they match the colors up for one project, $12.99 for the whole thing. Not bad. Hey everybody, well I'm back. I went to Michael's, it was so nice. Um, and I did get some hooks because that was my uh, original intention. But I saw something, as you do when you're at Michael's. I've never seen this before. Anybody ever see this before? I'm sure other people have. Craft Smart Value. I've never heard of it. Um, and look at those colors. Oh my gosh. So um, here it is in a bigger skein. My first impression um, was it feels like Red Heart Super Saver. And I actually have one skein of Red Heart Super Saver that I just happen to have in my stash. I don't use it that much, but this was um, in a big old yarn gift. Someone gave me a bunch of yarn. It's actually dusty because I just never use it. But my first impression is 
this feels a lot like Red Heart Super Saver. Those colors though, just like Red Heart Super Saver, they have the most beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, but it's strange because in the bigger skein, with the solid color, it feels softer for some reason. Um, so I thought we'd take a look at it and maybe I'd crochet up a little swatch and we could take a closer peek at this new yarn. Well, new to me. It's probably not new to anybody else, but it's new to me. Alrighty, so I'm gonna set my camera over here and uh, we'll take a closer look. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor because it just feels comfortable today to sit on the floor. Um, yeah, so take a closer look at this Craft Smart Value. It's uh, 244 yards on this skein. The bigger skein, 354. So that's quite a bit. Um, it calls for a five and a half hook. Let's see, I think they both do. That's weird. Where is where's the little detail thing? It doesn't. It doesn't say. I don't see it anywhere on this label, but I believe they're about the same, so I'm gonna use the same size hook. That's very interesting, isn't it? I just love these colors, though. These colors are crazy. I'm thinking winter hat with this. I just love, love, love those colors. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a try with a number five and a half, yeah, 5.5 millimeter hook. And um, I'll give you an example of a swatch. Let's just see what the red heart, just out of curiosity, what does a red heart call for? Yeah, they're calling for a five millimeter. Interesting. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me crochet up a little swatch of each of the colors and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here are the two swatches I made. Um, and really, they feel about the same. Um, the solid might be a little bit softer, but it really is, it's hard to tell if, it, if it's really any softer or not. So it's not, well, I guess right here where the, um, where the row, meet where the two rows meet you can feel a little bit more scratchiness on this one this one does feel softer um but oh my gosh those colors seriously they are such whippy chick colors i can't even take it <laughs> and i am thinking granny square heaven <laughs> for these colors now i'm gonna stack them right on top of the other because i used the same hook for both um and they both call for the five and a half uh, well, actually, this one didn't call for anything. That's right. This one didn't call for anything. So I'm not sure if it calls for a five and a half. I just guessed. But you can see that the solid color is, the swatch is a little bit bigger. So that's something to consider if I was going to work with them together. I'm thinking granny squares would be amazing with all of these colors. Already there's a willy here. <laughs> um, amazing. And then I'm thinking for like the outside of this square, you could have these different colors if you could find those shades. I did look for this lime green at the store and I didn't see anything that would match that. Um, there was a bright orange. I thought that the blue would be kind of a good match, but now I'm not so sure. And who knows if it'll look like a match to you on the screen or not, because these co colors um, look so different when they're on the screen. But anyway, fun find for the day. I'm very excited about it. Oh boy, that's gonna mean another whip. Oh well, <laughs> I don't know if you can ever have too many whips. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll keep you posted on what comes of it. And coming up soon, we're also going to have the Great Hook Challenge and I'll, I'll tell you more about that on the Facebook page. <laughs> There'll be stuff coming up. And of course, tomorrow is the introduction to the kale. So lots of fun stuff going on today. I'm very, very excited about, about my crochet happenings. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.